Now for a break. 14 segment. Oh, no, not. Well, Damon Hetter going aggressive, not leaving himself the out shot at the bullseye, which he would have had had he got the 14s. Turns out he's not punished by Gerwin Price. That's a bold move from Hetter. 64. Damon, you require 32. Double eight to double his lead. Game yeah, very second. good. This. Very, very good. He's, you just got the feeling, didn't you, from when he walked on stage? There to leave a finish that will not require a bullseye if he's allowed back to the board, which he will be. We're going to get his first dart at a double. In the context of the game, in the race to six, he's going to have to get it as well. One dart at his favourite target. Always going to be awkward. Then we require 86. First dart in the single 20 was just sitting up awkwardly for the Welshman. Whereas that was inviting for the treble, leaves double seven. Oh, Damon Hetzer's 3 0 up. Gerwin Price is rattled. Hetzer, only one treble required. 4 0 beckons. But to stay in the match, to stay in the tournament, simple as. He's rattled. Oh my! He's gone next door, busts his score. Massive let off for Gerwin Price. Can he take advantage? Yes, he can. Keeps his cool. Pins double five. Big let off. What can he do from 2 2 6? 88. They mean to require 152. Oh, that's good. It's really good. Double 16. This time he hits it when he wants it. And it completes a monster checkout for the Aussie number one. Possible 11 dancer is settled for 12 for Gerwin Price. He needs the ball. Kiss the wire. Only take him out 152. What a shot this would be to hang on to his throw. Can he find his way through to the treble? It's just like the last visit for Hetta. Just like the last visit, and it leaves the ball for 5 2. You can see what he thought of that. Loves double 12. That's the best do with double six. Gerwin Price comes alive! Going to throw first. One round of five. The only requirement I'm still in it. Might not be in three darts time. 14 segment this time. Leaves the bullseye for the match to beat Gerwin Price. And the Aussie number one gets it done. On home soil, the Heat takes care of the Iceman. And for only the second time in his career, Damon Hetter is in a World Series semi final. He could be an all Aussie clash here in Wollongong. It's down to the wizard Simon Whitlock. Slower than that, he won that game as well. He's Cullen. You just feel he was never in danger. And if something had come back his way, Danny, he'd have found something. 58.
you, would, you, you can't criticise somebody too much for winning 6-0, can you? That's good. And it leaves double top. Yeah, very nicely done by Dimitri Vandenberg. New Zealand, but played really well, actually, in a brilliant game of darts with Hopai Puha. So, yeah, disappointing result, but... The performance was good from Vandenberg. Yeah, you break that down, the average of close to 99. It was just one of them where Pau Puha took his chances against the darts. Decent last one from Vandenberg. Oh, it's good. It's very, very good. Double top. It is brilliant from the wizard. And listen to the roar in the gong. Well, the Aussie pair are not letting the crowd down. Damon Hetter with a 1-5-2 in the opening match. Just been eclipsed by a 160 here from Simon Whitlock. An important leg against the darts and the timing from Vandenberg, a 10 dart leg. I hear the noise in the crowd as well. The split loyalties here. There's a, a World Cup match going on in the Women's World Cup. Simon Whitlock needs you here. Could be going 5 3 down. Can he find double eight this time? He can. And it is 5 3 to Vandenberg. Trouble 19 for the ball. Match start incoming for Vandenberg for four consecutive legs, and it's Just drifted into the 20. Still a big ass for Simon. It was a poor leave off 150. Travel 17. Gets it. Can he get tops? He can. Simon Whitlock for the second time this weekend. I doubt a bull already. I doubt we'll see the bull in play here. Yeah, okay. Sensible, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. He could have got, if he'd hit the single 19, could have gone to the ball, but he's left the double he wanted. It is double 16, and Simon Whitlock, who's provided one of the standout moments of the tournament last night with that dramatic win against Nathan Aspinall. Cannot repeat the trick tonight. Dimitri Vandenberg takes out the wizard. There is one Aussie left standing. It is Damon Hetter. It's averaging. Is that right? 60. Oh, missing 11 darts. Double will do that sort of stuff for you. 137. 121. Double 18. Game Much better. Michael Smith. Peter to throw first. Go figure. There are some misses in this, and misses by a long, old Video way from 20. world number one and the world number three here. Puzzling start to this contest. Well, that should, just, that should be a good guide for him. No score. I'm going to require 40. Well, the reaction suggests that Peter Wright is not feeling comfortable about anything at the minute. 20. Well, this is like you and me down the dock and duck down. 20. I wouldn't go that far, Stuart, but it's not great by their own ridiculous standards. But ultimately, three legs in, they've all gone with throw. Four leg, Michael to throw first. Peter Wright has managed to miss 15 darts at double in three legs of darts. One of those games in the World Series where it's a. It's a great one to win, and it's a dreadful one to lose. 94. Because it's been scrappy, bitty. And look where Smith is on his own throw. 54. Did he require 36? Chance after chance after chance. Game to the result. Peter Wright. And Peter Wright has just won the last Peter two legs in 27 Rovers. darts. 14 darter, 13 darter. He's hitting a little purple patch here. 
remember that purple patch at the Ali Pali in the World Championship well, it came after another purple patch at the Grand Slam in this game, but he's been allowed to settle because Michael Smith has not punished him as he should have done early on. Early on. Treble 20. That'll do. 105. Is it going to be another? 140, video so by 16. That'll do. Okay. He's on the team for the first team. They're playing Michael to throw away. In a case of what might have been, it seems, for Michael 140. Smith. 140. You go two double tops. He only needs one. 40. And cannot get it, and Peter Wright Peter, to book his place in the semi-finals and take out the world number one and world champ. It's a marker, and he uses it. 6-3 to Snakebite. It started off so, so slowly. Getting better. 140. 7-140s already for Rob Cross. 81 left after nine as he goes in search of three legs on the spin. Yeah, Noppert raced into a three leg lead as Brenton Lloyd in his opening round match and then was pegged back at three apiece. He didn't panic and found his class, but this is a different challenge. 4 1, uh, sorry, 3 1 if he can get this double six and there's no pressure. He's just going to be careful if he's going inside if he does miss. Yeah, that could cause him a few problems. Now, will he pay the price for missing those darts at double 12 and double 6? That's a great dart. That is a brilliant dart. There's no indecision, was there? Double ten again, the target. Thirty-five. Yeah, there were... I just wonder whether he thought about... 52. ...maybe leaving it handy, splitting and gambling that Noppert wasn't going to take out 1-5-2. We've seen this already tonight from Hetta. Are we about to see it again? Oh, brilliant from Danny Noppert, we don't often see that from Danny either. And we can hear his reaction to that, he's fired up. A big visit from Noppert. That's brilliant. Yeah, it really is. I like the reaction as well, we need to see more of that from Danny. 14 140s for Rob Cross. Well, the pressure was put on Danny Nopper. And his brother washing on. Credit cross. The 140s have been a, a strong point of his game this evening. Staring down that double 18. He hit it in the previous leg on a 96. Not going to hit it here. Double nine. And he'll throw for the match. And he gets the double nine. Nopper will be disappointed. Six starts at 1-4-2 and didn't get a dart at a double. Ten player up to three first. Would love to back it up and win in Australia. One dart to wrap it up. 36. Danny, you require... To stay in there, knock it. Three ton plus finishes in the tournament. He's had a big one tonight at 152. And he's going to get a look at a 104, double 12 to send us all away and not hit. Can't find the double 12. More match darts coming for Rob Cross. Yeah, fine margins. 
Is that the last dart dummy Loppet throws in the World Series down under this year? That's two match darts gone. That's three match darts gone. That's four match darts. darts gone. Blow, blow, blow it away. 24. Loppet to send us all the way. Catching. Ah, big opportunity miss. You feel surely this time last week's champ will book his place in the semi final. Not, but will know he's missed the trick here. He's played well. Just not been clinical enough. Eight darts, Mr. Doubles, and he's been made to pay. And Rob Cross is on the charge again. Back to back quarter final deeds for the freeze, Danny Noppert. But for Cross, he's in the mix again. He's in the semi finals. That's an excellent visit from Damon Hetter. Six sets to nil and only won four legs. I've done that as well. <laughs> That's it. To level up at two apiece. And it is two apiece. Good tie this. Four legs played. Not giving each other much. Het has made the only real error. Came under a lot of criticism about the pace of his play at the back end of the year. Oh, it's on another ten data. For the second time tonight, Dimitri Vandenberg is on double eight after just nine darts. He met, this was the, when he hit the ten darts against Simon Whitlock, it was a key part of the match. And it allowed him to take control. It's not going to be ten darts here. Just doesn't want to start messing around with double two. He's still got a good lead though. Ah, good leg. Right in the corner. Dimitri Vandenberg. Five legs all on throw. So want to get himself into that break 4-3 and then come out and really attack the header throw. Good visit again. This is a good performance of Dim Dimitri. Average is very similar. Double percentage is the same. Just that opening leg where Hetter. Dimitri requires 67. And a mess of 53 and allowed Dimitri just a, a little settler. Double 16 for a yet another hold of throw. 51. It's a game that's been even. It's a game where they can't be split. Is he going to take a series of mistakes or one massive shot? The massive shot isn't coming here. What about the series of mistakes from Dimitri? This. The seven legs on throw and a lead. Wire moved up for double four. Uh, gets it for the second time in the match. And Vandenberg has held throw pretty steady. Had a little wobble in the opening leg, but yeah, played in good sportsmanship this one. But it's... This would not win the match just yet. But Dimitri Vandenberg is looking to move to the brink. And with the way that he's finished in this game, getting a couple of darts to win this leg may well be enough. Dimitri has been in the World Series final already this year in Poland. Victories over Sedlicek, a trail 3-0 in that match as well. And then he upset the home favourite there, Christoph Ratajski, and get her in price before being well beaten by Michael Van Gerwen. He's looking to put himself on the brink of an Neville final here. Oh, boss his score. Gave it a bit too much. Slipped into the 11 segment, Damon Hetter a chance. Doesn't like it. But that's a great dart to leave double five. Brilliant stuff from the heat. He's right back in it. It's game on for Damon. What a finish that is from Hetter. And it looked like the tie was slipping away from him. Next leg, and he managed to find a, a key 90 finish. Does he stay? Oh, interesting. 62. Well, the benefit of going the ball route does leave a single to leave double top. And he's not going to be punished for it by Dimitri. I, we had a debate about it earlier, Dan, didn't we? I get that shot there from Hetter, because playing the percentages, 
and he gets the lead tops. I think when your opponent's on a finish, you look for trouble 14. But Hetter has dug in here. 12 5 3, now 5 apiece. I don't think we envisage this sort of turnaround. Hetter to go one away now. Cannot miss inside. It looks so inviting. That was a huge opportunity. Deep breath for Vandenberg is at 48 again. Made a mess of this earlier on. And he's uh, missed again. And it, he's sort of shaking the head as if he expected it to happen. Hetter gets another crack here. He can get, get rid of this nine. He'll throw for a place in the final. Consecutive legs and on home soil, Damon Hatter is thrown for a place in the final. And Dimitri Vandenberg immediately hits back with what could be the best leg of the match. He'll stay on the 20s and that leaves the ball. And he couldn't get much closer, but if Damon Hetter is throwing at the bullseye with his third dart here, it's likely to be for the match. Well, it was a 90 finish that reignited the charge of Damon Hetter. Dimitri couldn't find it there, but he's going to get another go at 25. But he's been missing doubles, Dimitri. He's not going to feel 100% confident going up to the hockey here. 25. And of course, the home crowd will get involved. Ah, well done, Dimitri Vandenberg. Things haven't been going his way for the last few legs, but to find that finish to stay in the semi final. Leaves him a bogey number, he cannot finish 165. Damon Hetter knows he's got two visits. Stay there. Uh, aggressive and a costly last start in the previous visit means Vandenberg is just going to have to chip away. There's going to be some match starts for Damon Hetter for a place in the final here in Wollongong. 11. Double 16. And Damon has done it on home soil. He becomes the first Aussie to reach more than one World Series final. And tonight here in Wollongong, he could become the first Aussie to pick up a second World Series title. Hetter wins in a last leg shootout. And he will take on either Peter Wright or Rob Cross for the trophy here in Wollongong tonight. From Peter Wright, it had to be, but Rob Cross here, two out of two on the doubles. Brilliant, that is absolutely brilliant. That isn't bad. Three out of three on the doubles, two breaks of throw, three nil up. And it looks like on his way to another World Series final. Cross is sat there, ready to break the throw again. Only just in the 14. Yes. For 5 nil. 34. Please, you First time he's missed Darcy double and allowed his opponent back to the board. That's a safe one from Snakebite. No and his position in this tournament is looking distinctly unsafe right now. And you kind of think you know that it's just not going to be your night. It is 5 now. Cross. Grim faced. Six leg rock to throw first. I'd be right to be grim. He's burst into life this year. He's been good enough to win a couple of titles. But there have been more performances like this and more results like this is threatening to turn out to be for Peter Wright than he's used to having. Every player has peaks and troughs in form. The world number three 
is suffering a trough, the likes of which he has not suffered since he became a top player. As Rob Cross eyes up double 18 for 6-0. 6 0 to Rob Cross, wow. It, it seems that he's been OK. Well, the, he, the thing is, you know he's got more in the tank. We know yeah. he can hit loads of 180s. He's only hit two in this match. He's only hit two in the whole tournament. And yet he's still oh, averaging 100 oh, for the tournament. Because it has been ruthlessly efficient from Rob Cross. We know he's been very good, but it, as Peter Wright looks at the ball, we know that Cross has been very good, but... Sort of surprises me, he's 110 average good, but he is. Is it going to be a complete whitewash? A clean sweep! Double 18 for 7 0 and a spot in the final. That is absolutely incredible from Voltage, sealed with an 11 data. He smashes Peter Wright into the dust. And averages close to 110. Only once before has Rob Cross averaged more than that on television. It's averaging, is that right? 60. Oh, missing 11 darts, double will do that sort of stuff for you. 137, my 121. Double 18. Game Much better. What a piece. Go figure. Very, very good, Dan. Things are starting to happen for Rob Cross this year. Really impressive things. Double eight. For a 12 data. And that's one he can afford to miss. Well, he, he just left hoping again here, Hefter. Don't hold out too much hope for him. We shall see. Consecutive legs for Rob Cross here in Wollongong. Will be required 148. Another in there would leave tops. Is there room? To stay in the final, you feel this has to go. Is that curtains for Damon Hesser? Well, it is first to eight in the final. It's a slightly extended format. But Rob Cross and double 18. Had no problem with this tricky switch in leg one. No problem again. 4 0. 14 legs on the spin. Frustrated. We've not seen much of this from him so far in this World Series trip to the Southern Hemisphere. Why not? Why not? Why not? Big double four. Oh, nothing is working out for Damon Hetter here. Is there a trace of panic? I think someone is, is scarcely believable. But you better believe it, it's 5 0. Hetta. He's in danger of ending it with an absolute battering at the hands of Rob Cross. Look where Hetter is. This is on his own throw. Slim picking, 170. 
Be a good, good way to get back into it, though. Another crack at double 18. He's had to use double nine to save himself in the two previous attempts, which might be why that one ended up so high and wide. But it's going to be double nine again. And double nine works again. Rob Cross owning that segment of the board in this one. It is 6 nil. Cross for another World Series title. He needs to play. He may go double double or treble. Options here for Cross, and he's not going to get a look here. 58. The first chance to win it slips away. 68. It'll be one dart, double 16. Good. And Damon Hector's on the board. It's something for the Aussie fans to cheer. He survived a match dart. Well, we're not going to see a third whitewash in a World Series final, but we might well see a huge, huge victory for Rob Cross. Damn, going forward, there's a lot of torments. What this could do for Rob Cross, who's got some prize money to defend. He's defending the European Championships final. I know this isn't on the rankings, but tournament wins, big tournament wins as well, can only do good for the confidence. And he said he's going to play everything. He's, he's committed to playing all the Pro Tour events, all the European Tours. He wants a big end to the year, and he's making the perfect start. Well, this would be his fourth... Ooh, wild dart from Rob Cross. He used to get a load of those back in the early days on the Tour. You don't see it so much from him now. But this would be his fourth title in around 10 weeks, Rob Cross. 16. The most he's won in a year was five, including the World Championship, in his debut year. Treble 19. Would give him a match dart, does he go for it? No, he doesn't. Plays sensibly, but it is championship darts incoming for Rob Cross. Yeah, and that just illustrates the mentality, Rob. It's been a no-nonsense Rob Cross, not messing around, doing all the sensible stuff at the back end of the legs, but this to go back-to-back -back down under. Double 16. Double eight for 8-1 and the title. And it is glory in the gone for Rob Cross. He completes a Southern Hemisphere double.